And for more on this, the former Director General of Police for Manipur, Mr. B.L. Bora, joins us on the broadcast. Thank you so much for joining us, sir. After a brief respite, Manipur is in the grip of violence yet again. What is the root cause of this flare-up? Root cause, as you know, already this problem started last year in the month of May. And this was the conflict between Kokis and Maitis, hmm. which basically again started because of poppy cultivation in areas like Churachanpur, which are bordering Myanmar. People came from there. Already, of course, poppy cultivation was there. So a lot of drug uh, lords are involved in the whole thing. And then, of course, a judgment of the High Court of Manipur asking the state to consider ST status for the Maitis and make a recommendation which they interpreted, cookies interpreted as saying that reservation has been given by the High Court and that this will impinge on their quota of the reservations. So that flared up. Hmm. And of course, then the land issue is also there. Maitis who constitute a majority, live in the valley, tribals are in the hills, hmm. and Matthews being more in number, they wanted to go towards the hills, but uh, they, it was being resented. Uh, Matthews also can't buy land in the hill areas, but whereas they, the tribals can buy. So there are so many issues. Hmm. I've served there for about 10 years as Home Secretary also. Hmm. I, I, I didn't see that there's always a communal harmony. And now, as you know, the distrust is so much that the areas are marked. People of one community cannot go to the other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that is the root cause of the problem. Right. Yes. Of course, sir, you understand the dynamics better than most. And as per reports, these are high-tech drones that were used to carry out the attacks. Are drones becoming the new terrorist weapons? In fact, if you ask me, it's 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 been worrying. I mean, I'm just worried as to what has happened. Mm -hmm. Number one, of course, it's very clear that the drones, the expertise, the training, the equipment, that has been given some highly trained, uh, either an insurgent group or by some foreign government, intelligence agency or some foreign government. It's very, very clear. And it, what does it mean now? It means that criminals in other parts of India also will now know this, now that this can be used. Hmm. And drainage posts can be used even in urban areas, as you know that very well. Which also means, in turn, police has to upscale its capabilities now. And I think it's we are entering in a, into another layer, another level of the security fight with the criminals and insurgents on the one hand and police on the other hand. And I think this this was not thought of, frankly. So these cookies, by using the drones, have shown the way to others. And of course, they've shown the way to the police also. Hmm. Hmm. But police reaction, as you know, is always late because, you know, the government there, of course, those people can go buy uh, off the shelf. They here, of course, it will take time. Hmm. But yes, definitely a new dangerous element in this kind of situation. Today, of course, it's conflict, the ethnic conflict, but let's say by terrorists. Hmm. Who knows, tomorrow criminals can also use it hmm. against uh, other criminals or against the police also. Uh, right, so this sir. all can happen now. It's a different ball game altogether, if you ask me. Right, sir. And just to expand on that, is there a security system in place to challenge the use of these high-tech drones? Does this point to the changing nature of the deployment of drones? Of course it does. In fact, what you will perhaps need is now all the time surveillance by drones of the skies. Mm -hmm. Like what happens on the ground. Mm -hmm. when they, whenever there's a situation, there's patrolling by the police on the roads. You know, preventive action. Now that means you may tomorrow you'll have to think of flying drones also simultaneously in the sky mm -hmm. as to see what's happening there. So this will mean more, of course, resources, more training, more equipment, all that is there. But in effect, it's a new dimension to the entire security scenario in the country now. All right. Well, Mr. Vora, thank you so much for joining us on or We On with your insights on this. My pleasure. Thank you. For latest news, download the We On app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.